Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick little comparison here between the Xiaomi Mi 8 and the Samsung Galaxy S9. We're going to compare them here, latest from Xiaomi and Samsung, uh, head to head. So, uh, in terms of the spec, you are getting a Snapdragon 845 in the Mi 8 uh, versus uh, Exynos uh, processor, which I think is the 9 series. Uh, in Europe, obviously you can get the Snapdragon variant, uh, and also I think you get slightly more RAM here in the Mi 8. Uh, but the big uh, change this year is you do get actually an OLED display, which, looking at it here, it looks pretty awesome in comparison to uh, you know Samsung's display, which usually uh, they keep the best themselves. So you're not going to be missing out here when it comes to the viewing experience. Uh, I did want to do a quick little performance test between the two, so we can just uh, restart them and then start them up at the same time. So let's go. This is MIUI 9 versus uh, Samsung Experience. I think we're getting MIUI 10 very shortly, uh, which should come with some nice ARIA optimizations as well. So Samsung's literally like the only phone nowadays which doesn't come with the, you can see uh, the Mi 8 very fast to boot up there which <laughs> which just beat the uh, Samsung I think. But I was just going to say it's the only phone which doesn't come with a notch nowadays which you know is quite distinctive in itself. Uh, but you do get a slightly bigger display on the uh, Mi 8 obviously, you can see uh, the, the notch does add to a little bit more screen area. So let's have a look at how they do compare. We have a few apps here. Everything should be closed down. There we go. Go. So you can see straight away showing me going out ahead when it comes to the speed here. I mean, why is Samsung so slow here in 2018? They really let the optimization slip, I think. And people here say, no, it's your phone. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, what's this? Uh, it's nothing to do with the phone. I've factory reset it many times and it's fully up to date, you know. It's just, uh, you can see other manufacturers here have surpassed it, I think, when it comes to the performance aspect. Very nice and fast fluid software here uh, from, you know, Xiaomi, Asus, etc. Look at that. Uh, let's have a look at your GPS as well. Uh, I don't think we've done that for a while. So, go. This will see the GPS connectivity, useful for those who like to use the maps, etc. And the navigation. So far, both of them very slow to get going here. I've put the GPS on high accuracy. So Samsung, I think, seems to be doing a little bit better overall. Even though I've seen them both perform way better, I've seen the Samsung perform better. I've not really seen the Xiaomi, uh, but you can see it seems to be quite uh, slow here. Let's just make sure everything is turned on. So where is the uh, the location? They keep changing everything here. So location, yeah, high accuracy as you can see, but still, you know, that could be an issue actually I'm going to keep an eye on because if you can't get a good GPS and you can't really use maps and things like that, so, you know, something to consider here, Samsung definitely more superior when it comes to the GPS connectivity. Let's have a look at your speed test. Doors open and let's go. Just 
So I think you get a slightly bigger battery as well with the Mi 8, good for longevity. Uh, you get two speakers on the bottom, which we can check out in a second. Which look pretty promising. I have got a theme as well on the Samsung, you may have noticed. Pretty awesome themes I've been checking out on the Samsung store. Uh, which uh, some are free, some are paid for. Uh, so worth checking out there. And what's going on with the Mi 8? Have you switched back to... Yeah. Let me just forget this network because <laughs> it seems to prefer it over the proper one. So that can be very annoying. There we go. So we're on the right one now. Wondering what was going on then. Let's try again. Shime is really going for it, you can see. I mean, well, it was going for it. Now it's gone back down again. So I opened my mouth too soon as you can see. I think Samsung's actually won this one, which is quite good. I'm not gonna give it a second chance because you know Samsung has to win something at the end of the day. So we'll give that to the S9, very nice. So overall from a speed perspective, you can see the Xiaomi Mi 8 is bringing a lot to the table here. Uh, when it comes to that. I think as well in terms of the software you can see uh, there's a lot of value here on the MIUI 9. Uh, there's some settings in there as well which I don't really 100% understand what they do like this something called Shio AI but I assume it's something you know that you can use to speed up the phone. Uh, you've got uh, MIUI Lab as well and also uh, Second Space, create a separate space for your phone what does that do two spaces one device is that just like a multi-user yeah it looks like a multi-user that does so that's uh, pretty nice can you hide the notch that is a good question here let's see because uh, most android phones do allow you to hide the notch if you don't want it there uh, so, notch, there we go, uh, hide screen notch, there you go, so if you don't like that you can do that, you can also specify which uh, apps you want in the full screen mode, which is quite nice, uh, let's have a look at the cameras here, how the softwares compare, I think that's one area where Samsung is still very strong actually, as well as LG, you can see how many uh, different things you've got here with the 1.5 aperture, uh, you've got your selective focus, uh, whereas with this one I think it's more copying the iPhone as you can see, uh, a little bit less in terms of the settings here, uh, but you do get some nice stuff such as short video and square manual mode as well, so you've got an, even more settings here. Uh, but overall I think I prefer the Samsung overall, it just seems to be a more uh, interesting uh, stuff here, hyperlapse, look at that. So they really do go, you know, the extra level when it comes to the camera experience. And uh, I think they're going to continue to do that for the Note 9 and other Samsung phones. So yeah, very uh, interesting phones here, obviously the... Mi 8 is a little bit uh, less expensive but certainly worthwhile here as long as you can deal with some of the software quirks you probably get a more stable experience on the Samsung but not necessarily faster as you could see there I think they could uh, definitely improve that uh, so yeah hope you enjoyed the video found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers